Marcus. Hi, hi, I'm Dylan. Good. We are doing a robot that lays a bridge for you. So if you see a river and for some reason you want to walk across, you activate the robot, press it, you put it in the direction you want to lay the bridge and it starts laying the bridge. Cool. Do you, have, do you have like a uh, example of what you're working with? Yeah, it doesn't have the flippers yet. The flippers will be like here or something. They just move. But they'll be like out here or something because like it has to be off the bridge. We plan to make like a small factory. Not a fact, like something like here which can produce a bridge and lay it. We plan to make the bridge like a flat, waterproof, large piece, piece like a mat thing that can be laid across the water. We're gonna oh, test our um, robot for. We're gonna test our bridge laying robot. Okay, let's do it. Oh, hey. and we're testing out our, our bridge laying robot for the second time. We're testing our robot for the seventh time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey! Well done. It doesn't go fully. <laughs> Not yet. Can you make the A button like click and it'll run forever and then unclick? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So basically what we did in the code was um in point if you like was to um so first for the distance we we put it at the back and then um for the distance sensor we made it um go forward until the distance sensor um senses a gap which is more than 30 centimeters and then we stopped the motor and then we moved it backwards for five seconds and then we after that we um um, use the lower bridge um, my block function to define it and then it lowered the bridge and then we stop the motors and move backwards and then we move forwards again over the bridge you said um hello <laughs>